Hey guys, do you enjoy the summer? I don't. It is a slack period between GDQ and the Hideo Kojima game. Instead of trying to understand the rules of Steam sale event, you can actually relax playing the brand new indie game created by Jomei Studio, Sea of Solitude. Did I say relax? Well, I was kidding. Sea of Solitude is a story-driven adventure game set in a strange world where monsters live. The weather and characters here are unstable like PS4. The whole picture reminds you of a recently released title, The Sinking City, but without detective puzzles, crafting and shooting. Still, you've got a boat, yar, and a bunch of psychological problems caused by your family and partner. Each of them has a bunch of psychological problems as well. Isn't it awesome? Sea of Solitude tells a story about depression, loneliness and dealing with your own demons. It concentrates on the acceptance of the problems, not on fighting them with bare fists. So you've got pacifist gameplay mechanics. Run, jump, swim, fire flare, tremble in fear. But the most useful one is clearing corruptions. It is tightly connected to the plot, helps you to untangle psychological issues and serves as a game progression. And of course, every game about depression wouldn't be consistent without collectibles. Here you've got bottles to collect and seagulls to shoo away. This one probably goes to a receiving point, we'll need some cash to buy more beer for the father. And we definitely don't need bird droppings in the study city. Level design is neat. The objective is always readable, so you don't spend too much time looking for the next lantern or a window with the lights turned on. Who is living there anyway? The game is pretty simple and doesn't require any hardcore platforming or puzzle-solving skills. You just proceed with the story, enjoy surroundings or not, and finally get your revelation. Sea of Solitude is basically a psychotherapy session that costs 20 bucks, which is a hell of a deal considering actual doctor's price. But for a game that was in development for 5 years, it is actually short. I expected it to have at least 5 years of gameplay, like in Morrowind. The biggest issue for me is a straightforward storytelling. The drama lies on the surface and provides no space for your own interpretation. Come and take it. It tries to get the emotional response from the player. But if you didn't have the experience of anything from the provided list of psychological cases, Sea of Solitude will probably miss the mark for you. On the other hand, it is visually stunning. The style is overwhelming and sprinkled with nice voice acting. Uh, think of all the things we can do here. You can barbecue in the summer and, and relax in the garden. You can even work from home. It, it's just this is all so sudden. Joe May is previously known as a developer of not really extraordinary mobile games. That's why Sea of Solitude is a huge step forward. The studio is already working on the next project called Sands of Sorrow. Are we gonna have another Johnny-like game? Or a Flappy Bird Battle Royale? Oh, it's already a thing. Now, if you excuse me, I need to deal with my psychological dilemma. Thank you guys for watching, have a good one!